often you find that the Gospels present parallels between what Jesus did and what Israel did. So you can find this, for instance, in Matthew's Gospel, where you will find that in Matthew chapter 2, you have the famous story about how the magi or the wise men are coming and they're looking for the king. Herod gets upset about this. He wants to kill the young baby that's been born. And so uh, after being warned by an angel, Joseph takes his uh, family down into Egypt. And then after Herod's died, uh, they come back up. Now, Herod is very much like Pharaoh in the Old Testament, killing the young boys. And the verse uh, we have in Matthew 2 says that um, God said to Joseph, that those who are looking for the life uh, of the child have died. Well, that's very much like what you get with Pharaoh, um, where it's said to Moses, you know, those who sought your life are dead. And as Jesus comes back out, the Old Testament is quoted and it quotes Hosea chapter 11 verse 1 which says out of Egypt I call my son and you'd think you read Hosea and you think well that's about Israel but Matthew is showing it's about Jesus you go to the next chapter and Jesus gets baptized and he sort of has an argument with John the Baptist I mean, why are you being baptized uh, and Jesus says it's to fulfill all righteousness next chapter chapter 4 he's going off into the desert for 40 days to be tested well Israel was in the uh, desert for 40 years being tested. So you see time and time again, aspects of Jesus' life are paralleling what happened to Israel in the Old Testament.